Act one, Susan and Harry talk about their lives together. We couldn't ask for anything more, could we? Well. Well? Susan wants to know what Harry is thinking. Well, are you going to tell me what's on your mind, Harry? Michelle wonders if everything is all right. Is everything okay? Susan, do you? Turn around, Michelle. Let me see the back of it. I like it a lot. It fits well. It doesn't need any alterations. We must have bought the right size. I like the color. She looks good in blue. I like blue, too, Daddy. <laughs> Try on the skirt and blouse outfit, Michelle. The one that Daddy wanted you to wear. Okay. Michelle has been a different kid since we've been married. She's never been happier. And I've never been happier, Harry. I love her very much. She's been a joy. <laughs> We're very lucky, the three of us. And becoming part of the Stewart family, too. <laughs> we couldn't ask for anything more, could we? Well... Well? Could we ask for anything more? <laughs> no, we... How do you like it, Daddy? It's my favorite outfit. It's good for every day. Oh, it will be good for school, Michelle. I like it, too. I always like skirts that go like this. Oh. <laughs> do you want to see the winter jacket on me, Susan? Yes, I do. Change back into your jeans and put on the new winter jacket we bought today. Okay. <laughs> what did you mean by, well, you had something on your mind when I said we couldn't ask for anything more. Is everything all right? Everything is fine, Michelle. Let's take a look at the winter jacket. Come on over here, honey. It's kind of warm. <laughs> it is. That's why we bought it for you. This will be a perfect jacket for the winter time when it's very cold out. But it's kind of small also. We must have bought the wrong size. Looks like we should have bought a bigger one. I guess we'll have to exchange it, too. I'm sure the store has others. I look silly. It is too small. You're growing so fast, Michelle. Can I take it off? I'm hot. Sure. Put it back in your room and we'll hang everything up later. Well, are you going to tell me what's on your mind, Harry? I have been offered a job with a major accounting company in Los Angeles. I have been offered a job with a major accounting company in Los Angeles. Los Angeles? That's a big decision. I know. It will also affect you and your job if we decide to go. Wow, it sure will. But first, tell me about the job, Harry. If it's a good one, then we'll make it work for us. I have a client in the garment business on 7th Avenue. I do his taxes every year. He has a big sales office in Los Angeles, and the company in Los Angeles that does his major accounting work is looking for uh, an executive, and he recommended me. That's wonderful, Harry. Yes, but it would mean that we'd have to move to L.A. 
What about the salary? The real discussion comes tomorrow. Susan, I don't plan to make any decisions until I have a chance to talk with you about it. I understand, Harry. And I don't have to make a quick decision. They know that I'm married and that I have a family. Well, there's a lot to think about. If it's a good job, then I've got to do some thinking about my career opportunities in Los Angeles. Is everything okay? Yes, honey. and he was thinking about a new job in California. She must have been surprised. You can see it in her face. It's clear to me. It's easy to see. She must have been surprised. Must have been. You mean must have been. We can say must have in conversation. And sometimes we don't pronounce the V. And so you hear must have. She must have been surprised. Yes, yes, yes. I can see that she was surprised. It's very obvious. But must have? Well, you don't have to say it, but sometimes you're going to hear it. We must have bought the wrong size. What? We must have bought the wrong size. <gasps> they must have bought the wrong size. You can see that the jacket is much too small. It's clear to me. It's easy to see. They must have bought the wrong size. No kidding. Is everything okay? She looks worried. Yes, I can see that. Do you think she heard Susan and Harry talking about moving to Los Angeles? Well, evidently she heard something. Or she saw the serious look on their faces. Michelle is obviously concerned. She saw something. Yes. She must have seen something. She must have seen something. Or she heard something. Yes, she must have heard something. She must have heard something. It's clear to me. It's easy to see. I must have been crazy to come here. In Act Two, Susan tells Grandpa about Harry's new job offer. Harry has been offered a job in Los Angeles. Susan wonders if moving to Los Angeles would be good for Michelle. And Susan's concerned about finding a new job. There are so many things to consider. There's Michelle. I wonder if a move would be a bad thing for her. And my job. I, I don't know if I can get a good job in Los Angeles. A little later on, Harry learns more about the job offer. Tell it to me again. Oh, the company is Kraft and Kraft, the biggest accounting company in the country. How do Susan and Harry feel about moving to Los Angeles? Oh. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Are you ready for lunch with your grandpa? Oh. Hi, Grandpa. Yes, of course I am, but my mind isn't. Well, what's the matter, Susan? A real dilemma. Does it have anything to do with you and Harry? Yes, but I don't know where to start. Maybe I can help. Tell me what it is, Susan. Thanks, Grandpa. Please sit down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Harry has been offered a job in Los Angeles. Well, this is something to think about. There are so many things to consider. There's Michelle. I wonder if a move would be a bad thing for her. And my job. I, I don't know if I can get a good job in Los Angeles. And what about our family? <sighs> can I tell you what I think? Tell me. I think that you're very successful and that you have a fantastic reputation in the toy industry. I think you could talk to Mr. Marchetta. 
And I think he could help you find a real good job in Los Angeles. He was very helpful to me, remember? I suppose I could call him. But I'm not so sure that I want to leave New York, you and the rest of our family. Well, I'm not going to kid you, Susan. You know we'd all miss you. But this should be your decision. It's something that only you and Harry can work out. If moving to L.A. is in Harry's best interest, I have to do what I can do to support him. <laughs> in every marriage, sacrifices have to be made by one partner from time to time. And what about Michelle? Well, what do you think? I think Michelle is better off staying where she is. What does she think? I don't know for sure. Well, you'll have to ask her. I think I'm going to have a talk with Mr. Marchetta and get his feelings about my leaving and about helping me find a job in Los Angeles. Good idea. I'll call him right now. No point in delaying. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Harry, it's the perfect job for you. You'll love it. It's a big decision for me, Bill. And I have to discuss it with my wife. I don't know if it's right for her. Oh, she'll love it. It's a once-in-a-lifetime offer, Harry. Okay. Tell it to me again. Oh, the company is Kraft & Kraft. The biggest accounting company in the country. I know the company well. It's big. The biggest. Yeah, yeah, the biggest. <laughs> when do I have to let you know? Now, talk it over. Think it over. Let me know by the end of the week. When would we have to move? As soon as possible. I also have my daughter to consider. I don't want to interrupt her school year. Let me know by the end of the week. All right, it's a great opportunity for you, Harry, believe me. <laughs> I know. Kraft and Kraft is the biggest in the country. Yeah, I know. The biggest. I think Michelle is asleep now. Let's talk. I met with Bill York today. And I talked with Mr. Marchetta. Did York make the offer? Yep. He asked me if I want the job. That's exciting, Harry. What was it? A vice presidency with the biggest accounting company in the country, Kraft & Kraft. Aren't you excited about that? Well, sure I am, but... There's so much more to consider. I talked to Mr. Marchetta. What did he say? Did you tell him about me? Of course, Harry. I want what's best for you. And I think I can get a good job through Mr. Marchetta in Los Angeles also. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I talked with him, and he understands completely. He has a major toy buyer in Los Angeles, and he's pretty sure that I can get a good job there. Unbelievable. But I think we should talk to Michelle about all of this. You're right. We'll talk to her about it. And how do you feel about taking the job in Los Angeles? How should I feel? It's the biggest company in the country. Well, then you feel good about taking it. Well, I feel fine about it. Why shouldn't I? Harry, it's the perfect job for you. You'll love it. It's a big decision for me, Bill. And I have to discuss it with my wife. Is moving away to Los Angeles a good idea for Susan? Is it right for her? Herself. Her question is, can I get a good job in Los Angeles? I, I don't know if I can get a good job in Los Angeles. 
What about Michelle? Would Michelle like to move? Or would a move be a bad thing for her? I wonder if a move would be a bad thing for her. So, Harry, do you want the job? That's the question. Hmm, do I want the job? He asked me if I want the job. So, what do you think? Will Harry take the job? I don't know if you'll take the job. In Act 3, Susan and Michelle talk about moving to Los Angeles. How do you feel about it? Well, I really wouldn't want to move, but... But? Later, when Harry gets home, Susan explains how she and Michelle feel. Michelle and I have all kinds of feelings about leaving New York, the family and friends. Harry listens to them, but it's time for him to make a decision. Now, tell us about your talk with Mr. York. Did you take the job? Do you think Harry took the job? I love my school. I have so many good friends there now. I wouldn't miss a day even if I were really sick. Come and sit down for a minute, Michelle. I'd like to talk to you about something, something important. What's wrong, Susan? Oh, there's nothing wrong, Michelle. But your daddy and I are talking about something that I'd like your opinion about. I know. I heard you talking about it the other night when I was trying on my new clothes. It's about moving to Los Angeles. <gasps> You're right. How do you feel about it? Well, I really wouldn't want to move. But... But? But if you and Daddy wanted to, I guess you know what's best for the family and for me. That's very considerate of you, Michelle. But what about your friends? I'd miss them a lot. But I know what it feels like to miss someone. Honey, we don't have to move if you're not going to be happy about it. Does Daddy want to move? I think so. He's going to tell us tonight about the job offer. How was everybody's day today? Michelle was chosen to do the school poster for the play this year. Congratulations, Michelle. That's something. And how was your day, Susan? I see you're in a good mood. Why don't you tell us about your day? I um, met with Bill York. It's okay to talk about it, Harry. Michelle knows all about it. Really? Really, Harry. Michelle and I have all kinds of feelings about leaving New York, the family and friends. But if you think you should take the job, we're behind you. What about Michelle's school? We'll move after the school term. What about her new friends? I'll make new friends, wherever we are, as long as we're together. We're a family, Harry. Whatever you think is right for you is right for us. I am so touched. The two of you are really something. We love you, Daddy. <laughs> and I love you. Okay. Now, tell us about your talk with Mr. York. Did you take the job? Nope. What? No? You didn't take it? No, I did not take the job. But, Daddy, I thought... Harry, you didn't turn it down because of me. Or me. No. No, I turned it down because of me. How's that? Well... I began to think about you and about Michelle. And then I asked myself, do I really want to work for the biggest company in the country? And? And I don't. I went into business for myself because I like being my own boss. I run my own company. I'm a big fish in a little pond. 
I'm not really sure I want to be a little fish in a big pond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy, does that mean we don't have to move? That's right, sweetheart. Are you sure? I couldn't be more sure, Susan. <laughs> I'm glad if you are, Harry. <laughs> and besides, how could I live in Los Angeles when all my favorite people live here? Your favorite people? Who's that? The Stewart family, of course. <laughs> I kept asking myself, do I really want to work for the biggest company in the country? The company is Kraft and Kraft, the biggest accounting company in the country. I know the company well. It's big. The biggest. Now they're big, all right, with offices all over the country. They're big. All together, they have 86 offices in the U.S. alone. And one of those offices is in Los Angeles, and that's where I'd be. L.A. Harry Bennett. Just one accountant in a huge company full of accountants. I'd be one little fish in a big pond full of accounts. Ugh. Do you want to be a little fish in a big pond? I'm not really sure I want to be a little fish in a big pond. I like being my own boss. His own boss. I work hard, but I make my own schedule. I can take time off when I want to. And I choose my own clients. Yeah. I have a client in the garment business on 7th Avenue. I do his taxes every year. He and my other clients know me personally, and I know them. He knows them all. They tell me I make a big difference in their businesses. And I do it my way, as president of my own company. Yeah. I guess you could say I like being a big fish in my own little pond. Yeah. <laughs> He wants to be a big fish in a little pond, a little pond. <laughs> 